Okay ladies, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Nail Art Studio for those of you that are new to this or have never tried it before. Um, when you first start, you want to usually just go to your main website page. I find that's easiest. You can go into your dashboard and get into it that way too, but um, I usually just go here. Push on the shop button. Go down to Nail Art Studio. Click on Get Started Now. Okay, so it's going to ask you if you're a returning customer. Just put in your consultant information. Here. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, so once you're in, just go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. If you haven't read it before, go ahead and browse through that and read it. It just talks about, you know, refunds and things like that. Okay, so once you're in here, you're going to start by uploading a file, okay? So I have a, let's see, I have a folder that I like to keep that's specifically for nail art studio things. So. I know where to go for images that I like and for ones that I've already used before. So um, we'll go ahead and open that and I'll kind of show you what I've got here. Now let's say you wanted to recreate one and I'll show you how to do that first. So let's start with this cute Disney one. I know a lot of you have probably seen this before. Super cute. Okay, so click on the image and this is how you're just going to recreate one that somebody has already done. So we're going to start with this nail, so 1-A. You're going to take the sheet and you're going to pull it and make it larger until it fits the exact size of that nail, okay? Let's get it a little bigger here. Oh, almost there. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it cuts off, you know, a tiny bit of different areas, you just want to get the gist of the the design. So, um, so there's my image. So I can say apply, and it will just apply it to that one nail. Or if I push apply to multiple, then I can click on which ones I want it to go to. So the top one A and the bottom one B are the same design. So I'm going to click on both of those and I'm going to push apply to selected. If you say apply to all it will go to every single nail and don't do that because I've gotten almost done before and clicked that by accident and then you get to start over. So really fun. Okay so see how that put it on both of those there. So then you're going to go ahead and click on two because that's your next nail. And you're going to go ahead and just drag this one over. And if you need to um, you know, edit it the size a little bit, then you can, but I'm going to go back up to apply to multiple because I want it on the top and the bottom. I'm going to click in both of those and I'm going to say apply to selected again, not apply to all. Alright, so now it's on both of those and you're just going to continue the whole way down the sheet, so it's super easy. So now I'm just going to pull this one over here too. You see that one we might want to size down just a little bit so we can get more, but we won't be able to do too much. Okay, there we go. This will be the last one I do. I think you get the gist here. You probably understand how to do this now. So once you get all of them filled in, then what you want to do is you want to go up here and you want to click on preview because that's going to show you what the entire sheet's going to look like when you're done. So had I filled in the rest of these, the whole thing would have been filled in. You want to just look really good on the preview and make sure that there's no, you know, white spots or things that didn't cover or make sure everything looks really centered when you're done because sometimes it can be deceiving on the actual page. So always preview your work before you purchase it. So after I know that's what I want, then I'm going to click up here on to purchase. Okay? It's it's telling me I didn't finish those ones and that's okay cuz I'm just going to show you for um, so then this is going to come up. You can pick however many you want of that sheet here. And then there's this $6 setup fee. So let's say I'm going to go back and I'm going to make another nail art studio. Then I'm going to go continue shopping, okay? 
go back into my nail art studio right here get started now it already has me signed in so I don't have to sign in again and I'm gonna go back up here to select file so now I'm gonna pick just an image I like um, let's see let's do one so that you, I can uh, explain how to flip images to here let's just go ahead and do a football okay so I'm gonna upload the football okay so to get the football on I'm gonna click the image okay and here we go so I'm gonna shrink it down so that I can get it to fit on my nail and I'm just gonna center it right there okay so if I want another football on there I have to go back over here and I have to click on it one more time here okay and then I'm gonna go up here to rotate so it doesn't matter if you rotate counterclockwise or just clockwise and then I'm gonna shrink it down right here and I'm gonna try to get them to match the same size so what I do is I always take that upper left hand green circle right there and I'm gonna match it with the bottom one of the other side and then I'm gonna pull this down right here until they're about the same size and then this little dot up here matches too then I know they're gonna be about similar similar shapes Then I'm gonna center it down here as well go up here and push apply to multiple and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply to all so you can see how it works so as you get down to these um, I'll wait till it's done rendering here okay after I get done with these, um, see these down, these sizes down here, it's a little too big. So when you get to those sizes down there, all you need to do is just go ahead and shrink it down. And let's see, it starts kind of getting cut off on number five. So then you're just going to recenter it. Remember how I showed you how to get the same size here? Match the circles. There we go. I'm going to drag it in right here. Okay, so they're the same size, and I'm going to come up here and put this on. Yeah, sweetie. Okay, I'll help you in just a minute, sweetie. Okay, so then I'm going to go back up here to apply to multiple, and I'm going to choose number five. I'm going to apply to selected, and see how it shrunk that one down? So you can do it with all the different images. You can get them the exact right size that you need, um, and just be able to, you know, fix it up however you like it. Make sure you preview it again before you purchase, and then go to purchase. Okay, so let's say you want to mix and match some different designs. So I'm going to go back to my, um, oops, select file right here. Okay, let's say the team's colors are this, this chevron right here. Okay, so we're going to upload that. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these footballs real quick. And then I'm going to click on my chevron right here. And these ones are pretty easy if you can just find a, you know, a design that you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, apply to multiple again. So let's just do all these smaller images since the footballs aren't great there. Oops, there we go. Okay. Okay, so remember apply to selected, not apply to all. <laughs> Okay, so now the chevron's added to those um, nails that I selected. So now something else fun you can do, just to show you, um, you can browse Jamboree's designs. So if you want to just have like a simple um, accent nail, um, you can go to this and select a color. So let's just do red because we know that's some of our team colors that we just picked. Um, I don't know why it's not coming up red right now. It should be coming up red. <laughs> and then you let's just apply it to number five. And we'll see if it'll change to red. If not, it's just a little kink for some reason. If it ever does that kind of thing to you, then typically what I'll do, um, if I'm not too far into my design, I'll just start over. And it will usually refresh the page and it'll fix itself. So um, you can pick, you know, different chevrons. They have checkers. Um, all sorts of okay see now you can see my chevron here and we're gonna take this one and delete it off the background so we don't have a gray in 
Um, but did you see how cool that was? So this makes it a clear chevron. So if you wanted a solid color in the background, we could come in here, we could pick um, red. So those are the team colors we were doing. Oh, there's our red, perfect. Okay, watch this, this is so cool. So I'm gonna cover the nail here and then I'm gonna take this chevron and I'm gonna go over the top. So now you have a two-tone chevron. So we're gonna apply that to our big ones up here. Um, show you how it looks. Pretty awesome. Okay, now to show you, I didn't click on this nail first. So this is where you have to be careful and watch because you see how the red didn't extend to the side right here. So I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna drag my red over a little bit again. Click on my blue so it's back on top. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply that. And see down here where it fixed it. So it's back to how it should be. Okay, so you can do that with any of these de designs. They have that kind of that clear background. So you can make two-toned images by using this and then this. Another thing you can do is oftentimes I'll go into the um, the paint program and I'll create my own images by adding different things and cropping different things and just getting the right the right look. Um, and then once you go into your paint program, everybody has that on their computer. You can save those images and then upload them so you have kind of customized images as well. Um, if anyone has any questions, just comment below on this um, video and I can help you and walk you through it so that you um, can figure out how to do whatever you're trying to get the look for. Uh, I hope this was helpful and like I said if I didn't touch on something that you're wondering how to do then go ahead and comment below and I can do another video just to focus on the one thing that you're struggling with or that you would like to learn about. Thanks! Bye!